evening soft tippers welcome to the soft tip central network tonight i'm going to be doing a review of the brand new kyle anderson shop tribe darts um, tonight we are going to be reviewing um, one member of the collection which is the desert boomer uh, we're going to look into these darts look at the packaging look at the setup of the darts how they're sort of laid out what they look like and we're going to have a few throws and see how they go i'll give my honest review of them at the end and i'll find out and i'll let you know how i feel about them good thing about these as well is they're an 80 percent tungsten dart which means they do make them more affordable and more accessible for people to buy um, obviously shot have said that the reason that they're doing this um, is to make them more accessible for people that obviously want to support kyle and buy his darts and they want to make it more readily available for those people and his fans and just fans of darts in general so let's go away and have a look at the packaging okay so have a look at the outer packaging now so these are the original kyle anderson desert boomers they are an 18 gram soft tip as i said before they're an 80 percent tungsten dart with 100 micron flights and they use the eagle claw shafts which are actually really nice if you can see it in there it's just like a translucent stem that's got sort of like a little coloring to it and that coloring actually sort of really ties in nicely with the barrel and with the flights that are in this one as well uh, the usual uh, shot packaging with the the single window down the center showing the entire dart and the two triangular windows either side showing the darts to the either side of the central one there uh, at the top here we've got an image there a picture of your lovely carl himself and across the back in the background on this one you've got this whole dotted imagery that runs right the way through the packaging it runs through the flight and as a lot of people that follow carl will know he does wear a, a dotted motif shirt on stage and so everything all ties in nicely with that and obviously we've got the shot logo at the top just there okay let's go and have a look on the inside okie dokie so this is the inside of the packaging now um, as you can see it's housed in our usual shot darts foam packaging um, very very thick foam uh, very solid foam and quite dense so it's very very good for packaging as these darts do come all the way from new zealand and you've got your two eagle claw stems there and you've got your other two flights that are just housed here again pre-punched there ready for the actual not the rings to go through those flights and hold those in place for you you've got three barrels running down here two are housed separately and one is housed fully formed as well um the lovely lovely flights on these as well semi-translucent flights and you actually have the original carl anderson on the flight there as well with the handprint um, everybody who knows carl is familiar with that handprint sign it was on a lot of his previous darts um in, instead of a signature it was just the handprint um, but it's there on the flights um, and we're going to go now and have a closer look at these barrels okay so weights and measures time it is and as you know we weigh all of the barrels individually to see how closely match weighted they are so the first one here is 16.59 grams and the second one is coming in at 16.62 grams and the third one here is coming in at 16.60 grams um, really impressive to be fair um, and they're really precisely made for an 80 percent tungsten dart they look really really good and they are very very uniform um, so let's get the old micrometer out and get the calipers on it okay so now we're going to look at the widest point it's an extremely parallel dart this one extremely parallel so there's no point past this front taper that's any shallower um it, it is parallel I'm just checking there to see if there's a slight scallop to it but yeah it's very yeah very parallel so we're going to take the widest point i would say would be here at the front just before you get to the nose taper so that's in inches, let's switch that to millimetres. So they're coming out at 6.2 millimetres there for you. And it's coming in at 46 millimetres in length. So that's your weights and measures. Now let's get up close and personal with the barrel and zoom right in. okay so let's get up close and personal with these carl andersons 
So as you can see at the front of the dart here, we have this rounded ball nose section that leads down to the tip. And that comes into a section here which is V grooved. Uh, this gives you a really good placement point for a front gripping dart player and it gives you a no slip advantage as well. So you're not going to slip on these bad boys. And that's followed up and backed up here by a multi ring section. Um, and then we get from the multi ring section, we get to the, um, the tracks grip, which is this rear part here. Now I'm going to roll the dart slightly. And this is this arrow tracks grip that you can see here and as you see as I turn that it's got a slight angle there to the cut which gives an arrow effect okay um, this cross section here then causes you to have some squares that run down this section really good for placement point very very good for grip it's about three out of five I would say on the grip front it's not the most grippy dart that I've um, received from shot but it's still good enough that you're going to get a decent grip good placement point and a very very smooth release um, and at the back here we have cinder etched into the top is the original Kyle Anderson with the shot logo just there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these together and I'm going to throw them as I would straight out of the box. So let's go to the ground and have a throw. Okay, so we're going to have a few throws at the ground board now with the Kyle Anderson Desert Boomers. Uh, these are set up with the Eagle Claw stems, the Kyle Anderson Signature Flights and you have some premium lip point tips at the end. They're again, are 80% tungsten, very parallel, straight barrel with a lovely ball nose taper to the front. Nice steady tongue to start. So they are very, very smooth uh, down at the front end, but you do get a good placement point on that V V cut section there. Darts are a little bit parallel for me. I'd probably get on better with the other darts in the O in the Carl Anderson range, possibly the OG or the Battler. Uh, love the flights, love the translucent flights, I think it's a really cool design. Um, the design on the flight reflects the um, the grip that is on the actual dart. So yeah, the track grip on the dart is reflected in the flight. Um, and it's got Carl's signature dots all on the uh, barrels and the flights there. Another tongue. Let's drop down and have a few of the balls on it. They fly really nicely through the air to be fair and straight out of the box. The setup is actually really nice. It suits the dart, it suits the length of the barrel. Stems are a little bit shorter than what you get with the Tao carbons. Uh, they're not quite as long, so that helps I think the dart. Wow, that was terrible, Daniel. Uh, the colouring on the dart's nice, uh, it's not sort of like Satsuma, nice bronze Satsuma orange. Very nice bright striking colour, a lot like sort of Kyle and his personality. The dart shirts that you wear are always very, very bright, colourful. Always remember him wearing a bright pink one once, that was awesome. You can see one at last. Wow. And so, 80% tungsten doesn't affect the dart at all. I like the dart. Uh, it wouldn't be my go to. Again, it's a very much a personal preference thing. People prefer a certain shape of dart, prefer a certain, certain length, certain width. So I'm going to go away, have three more, go away and have a little summary. One, two, five for finishing. Let's go and review these. 
Okay, so let's have a little summary now of the Kyle Anderson Desert Boomer 80% tungsten shot darts. Um, lovely slim parallel barrel, uh, very medium, medium grip level, not a very, very high grip level, so it's not as aggressive as some of the uh, shot darts. Uh, really multifunctional actually, a lot of different people, different gripping styles will be able to adhere to this dart. I mean, straight out the box, I was hitting some nice scores. Um, it didn't take a lot for me to adjust. Uh, it's not the um, design that I would go for personally. Um, I probably would be going for one of the others in the range, which we will be reviewing very, very shortly, uh, which is either the Battler or the Kyle Anderson OG. Uh, the Anderson OG is a 90% tungsten barrel, and again, the Battler is another 80% tungsten barrel, which again makes these a little bit more accessible to, to more people because uh, they're not quite in the higher price bracket or the higher end of the price bracket. Um, these are £64.95, um, and that is this many dollars and this many euros. Okay, and um, seeing as we're now in America and Germany, I've kind of got to cater for everybody now. Um, so yeah, do go out and grab yourself a set of these. I think you'll find that they are a very useful dart, a great um, utilizer of the grip sections at the back, the middle and the front. It's been made very, very well. Um, I do like it. It's not one that I would personally go for myself, but again, personal preference is a lot to do with the purchasing of a dart. Um, always sort of look into it a bit more and sort of take some time to to see how you hold the dart and grip the dart, but this will be utilized by many, many different people and many, many different grip styles. It's been really well made, um, but I would probably be more inclined to go for, for one of the other Carl Anderson range darts. Okay, so moving forward, as I said, we've got those three, uh, two more reviews coming up from Shot. We've got some other dart brands that we're going to be reviewing as well, and we've got some more news coming up in the future. Don't forget to check out our American pages, and our German page as well. Um, so look up Soft Tip Central USA and Soft Tip Central Deutschland. Uh, we are on Soft Tip Central UK and you can come and speak to any of us anytime. Thank you so much for joining in. Take care, see you soon.